it has arrived. We're going to take a look at what's inside this box. Plus, we're going to be speaking about two new lenses which are coming for the Nikon Z system. It's finally arrived. Let's get it open and see what's inside the box. Yes, here it is, the Nikon Z30 in all its glory, all its box glory. Let's take a look inside and see what we have. The usual books, don't want that, not interested in that, only interested in this. Let's have a look at that. Wow, well, feeling it. That feels very, very familiar. That I do like indeed. Button placement, very familiar on the back. Very, very familiar. Wheels, bigger record button, liking that. Obviously we've got the tally light, still got the two function buttons on there. We have the Nikon Z50 right beside you. Let's have a look at the difference in size. Pretty much exactly the same size apart from the EVF. That is a very, very small camera. Let's get it set up and let's see how it, it records. We'll make this one quick because it is 36 degrees right now in the studio, it is melting. I am melting. I wanna get this up and running, get it charged, get out and start recording some footage for you guys. I'll just spend the rest of the day under this. This is so refreshing. I'm going to put on the 16 to 50 lens from the Z50. I bought the body only, obviously already having the Z50 and their kit lenses. Obviously I didn't need to buy any more. So we have a great looking camera. And we also have the flip out screen, yes. It's going to make a huge difference in the studio while it's recording talking headshots now because at this moment in time I have the Nikon Z62 with the 18-35 set up but I also have it connected to an external monitor because I cannot see the back of the screen. So right now that is how I've got it set up but with this I will be able to just flip out the screen, turn it round and start recording. Actually, I'm not going to change any sentence. I'm just going to record with it. Right now, and here we are. This is the Nikon Z30 as we speak. This is all in auto, it's not manual. These are just auto settings. I haven't changed anything. I've literally just took it out the bag, out of the box, switched it on, and started recording. That is so good being able to see that flip out screen and being able to see myself. I love that. Tally light on it, fantastic, absolutely love that. Size of it, that's just perfect. That is really good. I like see me getting maybe another one for in the studio. This is going to be permanently set up for recording video. So I'm going to touch anything else. Um, and that is quite phenomenal. I'm going to dial in some manual settings. Let's have a look. We'll go to the manual. What we've got ISO 400, 3.5, 1 50th of a second. Now, that is really good. The 16 to 50 lens on this camera is perfect for vlogging. I will swap it out. I do have the 14 to 30 as well, which I can put on there, but obviously that bulks the size of the camera up. I didn't bother buying the creative kit with the remote control. I don't think it's necessary. All the controls and touch screens just there. Right in arm's reach. I'm not sure I actually need that. This is just for a quick vlogging setup, quick first impressions, let you guys know what I think of this camera. Um, and it sounds very good. Actually, we will be recording now, so we will record through the microphone on the actual camera itself. The stereo microphones on top. Let's see how well these perform in the studio environment. I do have a little bit of uh, soundproofing on the walls as well to stop all, all about, so that might help the, uh, the stereo on the, and the microphones on this camera, with it being the stereo. And we'll swip between, we'll swip, we'll flip between the Rode video mic and the, uh, the Z30 and see how that sounds. And I think, I'm hoping, 
just for quickness, it's going to actually sound quite good because now there's a lot of software advancements out there, especially in Final Cut Pro, when you can actually isolate the voice and it does a really good job of isolating the voice. So if I'm out and I just want to record a quick video and I don't have my microphone with us, I've got the use of these two microphones on top of the camera, which will come in super, super handy and have that voice uh, isolation ability on Final Cup in Final Cup Pro will help hugely so I'm looking forward to testing that out. So first impressions of this camera is I love it. I always knew I would love it. I know that the actual video quality and the stills quality from this camera will be absolutely fantastic. It really will because obviously I've used the Z6 for a long time now um, and now having the Z30 Having the Z30 is going to make a big difference to how I can obviously see myself recording and just having a dedicated camera set up to shoot video in the studio if I want to do live streams. I've got that there now and I can also power that via USB as well. And so it'll just continue to run. I am going to do a ton of more tests with this. I know a lot of you have asked to see a ton more tests. So I'm going to run through a lot of tests with this. This is just my first initial look, initial setup. Um, kind of my first thoughts on the Nikon Z30. Um, so initial thoughts is, love it, always knew I would. That grip just feels so good. I love the Z50, so I'm gonna really enjoy using this. There's something nice about a small form factor camera that packs an absolute punch. So I'm gonna love testing this out. So if you guys wanna see those videos and you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel and giving it a thumbs up if you've liked it so far. Two other lenses which are coming in the pipeline from Young Newo, which is the 16mm 1.8 and the 20mm 1.8, two new lenses from Young Newo, which will help hugely um, with the new third point lenses all coming for the Z mount system. I believe there's going to be a ton more coming as well in the new year, later at the end of this year and in the new year. So I'm looking forward to seeing how they perform. Now, obviously, this is kind of going to be towards astrophotography and landscape, but actually I would like quite a, a wider lens in the studio. Maybe the 16 lens is probably going to be ideal. I tend to set it at around about 20 mil, so 60 mil is going to give us a slightly wider perspective. So that's a lens that I could well be interested in, one that I kind of, I do want to check out as well when it comes out. So stay posted for that. So that's my initial thoughts of the Nikon Z50 and a quick little news regarding obviously two new lenses which are coming for the Z mount system as well. So if you like this video, folks, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm gonna head out and put this through its paces. So let's see how well it performs. 36 degrees. Most British people just cannot cope with the heat.